Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking all about Azura's three month update. She's already three months, I know. For those of you who don't know me, hey, I'm Kara Connolly. Here on this channel, we talk about all things parenthood, lifestyle, productivity, things like pregnancy. I just had a Azura three months ago, as I just mentioned. We're talking about my postpartum update too. So if that sounds like your kind of jam, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button so that we'll see you around and thanks to, you to, to, thanks to those of you who do too because it really helps my channel out and I love connecting with you guys. I love communicating on our little community here. So with that, let's jump right into today's update, which is three months, baby. Isn't that right? So Azura is so much different than Ava was at three months. I can't believe it. First of all, Azura is huge. Like Ava was also huge, but Azura is just like on another level huge <laughs> in a good way. We love that about you, honey. She is already in six to nine month clothing. Like I can't really put her in anything under three to six months. So like, and then six to nine month too. So that's kind of fun. She is so smiley. She started smiling pretty much in the hospital, like in her sleep, she was smiling, but then interactively smiling like at us around three weeks. And that's just continued and gotten more and more and more. And we love that. We love it. Smiles, little smiley. <laughs> she is super cooperative when it comes to photos and video right now as you can see unless she has like a tummy ache or something she really doesn't mind being in front of the camera okay so all of her red hair fell out that she was born with and it's coming back in and it's like blondish but i do still see some red it's just like kind of a guessing game at this point i don't know if you guys can see what you guys can see oh look that's you that is you but um yeah it's like not as red as it was when she was first born. I'll try to find a picture or video to show you what I mean. But like everyone was arguing with me that it wasn't red. And I was like, it's bright red. What are you people talking about? So in the comments below, let me know if in the other picture or video that I find and share if you see red too. She is waking up at least twice a night still, sometimes three times a night. Um, it's... You know, it, I think with Ava, it was worse. Like, I was even more sleep deprived. So she'll give me a little bit longer stretches, which is so nice. Like, that's what makes this newborn slash postpartum phase actually survivable. But um, it is still kind of rough. So we'll have to sleep train her when she's, you know, four and a half to six months, somewhere in there, when she's old enough and big enough. But, yeah, I'm hoping that day never comes because I just hate doing that. But... Yeah, that's kind of the route we're going. The other thing that is so different about Azura is that she loves me. And like when I say that, Ava obviously loved me too, but Azura will cry when she goes to daddy, when she goes to her nanny. Ava just loved anyone. So it's kind of weird to me. It's just foreign to me that she is so attached and it's very sweet. I am very flattered. Thank you, baby. But yeah, I'm definitely not used to that. So working through a little bit of <laughs> separation anxiety when I go back to work. You're gonna have to be able to handle that, so we're working on it. She also does not like tummy time, unlike her sister who didn't mind tummy time for a little bit here and there. Azura hates it and will just cry, so that's kind of a struggle, but I think her head shape isn't too flat or anything, so we're okay for now. Another struggle about sleep is that like most babies, she'll nap best when she's held. And if I put her down, typically like nine times out of 10 or eight times out of 10, maybe she'll wake up. And so that's frustrating because I just like can't get anything done. I have to hold her, carry her. So it really makes me unproductive <laughs> in these three month stage days. Hopefully we can figure something out. And then she also sleeps so much better when Ava, her, her one year old, oh. <laughs> Her almost two-year-old sister isn't home. So Ava started daycare a few days a week. So when Ava is not home, Azura can actually sleep and take good naps. Whereas when Ava's home, Ava's very loud and, and you know, rambunctious. And I think it just wakes up Azura. Oh yeah, and Ava ha kind of had to start daycare. She was so rough and just always wanting to touch Azura. So you can watch our um, day in the life video with a newborn and a toddler and you can see why. I mean, 
it's just wild how much Ava wants to like touch her sister and be involved and like it's almost dangerous I would say so I have to like on top of both of them so yeah I give so many kudos to stay-at-home moms who can do it with two under two it's like almost been impossible here to do it and it's during the pandemic and it's just been so stressful to not be able to have like many people who can help because of social distancing and things like that so we did have to end up going with daycare okay yeah you can tell azura is just like a very chill baby ava was a little more wild and wiggly and azura did make her first tiktok debut didn't you and that video for my you know videos that i have is like blowing up in comparison it has like 42,000 views or something right now and that's so many compared to my other videos on TikTok. And actually that's more than, than a lot of mine on YouTube. Like right now my biggest YouTube video I think has 47,000 views. So good job, baby. <laughs> she, people loved it. And so check out my TikTok, carolyn.connelly. Oh yeah, and the other thing about Azura is that she looks so much like me as a baby. Ava looked so much like her dad when her dad was a baby, like baby pictures. And now Ava looks a little bit more like me, but still more like her dad. But Azura, on the other hand, looks so much like me. And it's so fun to have one of each. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Mwah. We love you no matter what you look like. Ava always changed who she looked more like. So don't worry if you change, we'll still love it. But I just get excited that I might have one who actually looks like me. <laughs> So for my postpartum updates at three months, I still have about nine pounds to go to get to pre-pregnancy weight. Um, yeah, which I think is pretty expected at this point. And um, as many of you know, I did end up with, after having COVID when I was nine months pregnant and then just going through labor and everything, I did end up with blood clots. So that was really scary. And so you can watch my video about, um, my three week update and surviving the blood clots and things like that. I'll link those below, the two videos I mentioned already. But um, yeah, so I'm on the blood thinner, so I have to have my blood checked every week. So that's kind of a lot to leave the baby and toddler home when I have that checked. And as like a new mom, it's just like hard to leave the house that often too regularly. We did get everything under control so I could stop doing the shots, which were so painful in my stomach twice a day. And because of the blood thinners, I was bruising and then, you know, nursing and like holding a baby there where it's bruised, just like really it was so painful. So like, thrilled I'm not doing the shots anymore. Um, and I also had an ultrasound and the first clot that was there is no longer there. So that was the big one. That was the deep vein thrombosis, the deep clot. That was the most dangerous. So yay great news there so i'll still be on blood thinners for a total of like six months just because they don't know all the side effects of having covid and clotting because it's like a clotting disease apparently i didn't know that did you know that okay comment below if you knew that because so i was surprised to learn that but yeah there are some at least short-term side effects to after you have covid especially when you're pregnant so yeah i mentioned that ava started daycare i'm gonna have to start thinking about that with azura soon when i start thinking about going back to work. It's just so hard right now to know what to do with the pandemic and now this new crazy strain going around and they're not giving vaccines to babies. So I had COVID when I was nine months pregnant, but my doctor said that doesn't necessarily mean she has antibodies. So she's not like protective. It's not like she's had it. Whereas Ava, my husband and I all had it. So Ava's protected and I'm not as worried about her going to daycare, at least right now. So I don't know, we have to find, we have to figure that out and think through it and think about my next career move here. But yeah, we'll cross that bridge kind of when we have to. <laughs> Wait as long as we can. So yeah, that's our three month update. Things are going pretty well. I'm so happy that you are healthy. And next month when we go in for her four month update, we'll find out about her hernia. She had a hernia in her belly button when, so when they handed her to me, her cord snapped. So she lost a little bit of blood, but also it like yanked on her belly button. And so it um, caused a hernia and we might have to have that surgically fixed. So next month we'll find out if that's the case or not. Um, and we'll let you know how that goes. I'm hopeful it goes great. 
but yeah, hopefully next time we see you, I'll be more rested, have less concealer under my eyes, and this baby will be even bigger, even healthier. But I really appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe. Stick around for next time, and we'll see you later. Take care. Bye. Bye.